Um, so I'm gonna get my hair cut today. I have a lot of hair, and when I say a lot, I mean it's not only super long, but it's also super thick. And so I'm gonna get it cut today. I'm gonna also redo my color. I haven't cut my hair in a solid maybe six or more months, and my hair just grows really, really fast. So it's getting to the point where it's just too much hair to handle and uh, I'm gonna chop it off. So I'm gonna go see my friend Nathan to get my color redone and get a cut by Alex at the salon and I will bring you along with me. Before I get there, something I wanna mention is I am not going to a vegan salon or a non-toxic salon even though um, you probably know by now that I really only use clean beauty products and natural things. Well, hair coloring itself is not very natural but also because there aren't really any great salons that I know of in the city that are vegan and non-toxic and I kinda have trust issues with my hair so I wanna go to a specific stylist and something you can do if you also don't live near somewhere or maybe you don't have options is to bring your own products and I know it can be kind of intimidating or seem kind of weird but if you call in advance and ask them if you can bring your own things they usually won't mind I personally don't use very many products on my own hair uh, but I will leave a link in the description box with a blog post about sort of like my hair routine not all shampoo and hair stuff is vegan and not all of it is cruelty free or natural because um, they test on animals they use toxic ingredients sometimes and chemicals. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys my hair later, film the process, and I'm honestly kind of scared I have like haircut anxiety because I've had some really bad haircuts in the past. So let's get on the subway and go. I've definitely filmed the subway too many times, but it's New York, you know? <laughs> Comment below if you also get haircut anxiety. I feel like it's because I don't know how much I'm gonna cut yet today. And you know when you get a cut and your hairstylist cuts it too short and they're like, do you like it? And you're like, I love it. Well, I'm just gonna be very direct today because I've had some really bad haircuts because of that, which is totally my fault. So here we go. if you want to check it out and I'll put his Instagram here too so you can see his work. But he's gonna cut all of this. Nathan. This is what you, this is your Instagram story. This is my YouTube video. Oh, okay. Got it. This is new to me. Hi. <laughs> so Nathan's gonna color my hair. We're gonna do some highlight touch-ups. Um, he's really good with color. It's like his thing. I'm all right. I yeah. mean, plug yourself a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do some color. My first time. He's, he's gonna make sure my hair is not too brassy because that's like a thing that happens with Asian hair a lot, I feel. Um, so yeah, we will show you when it's done. Okay, color is done. Getting some styling done by Alex again. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> Subscribe. There you go. <laughs> and then I will show you. It's looking really good so far though. Here it is. Yeah, the color's perfect. Beautiful. And I have players again. Thank Thanks goodness. <laughs>
guys, I just got home. Let me move towards the window so I can show you how the color looks. This is the final cut. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Obviously they styled it a little bit, but this is the length now. We're at just under about boob length. Um, I was at about like waist almost, or yeah, touching like down to my butt. Honestly, it was crazy. And that's it. That's the before and after. I love it so much, I cannot speak highly enough about them. They just did an amazing job. I've really never walked out of a salon like this happy about my hair before. There's always like something that I'm kind of like, meh, wait for it to grow out, but this is, I'm so happy. Let's sit down and I wanna talk to you real quick. Um, vegan products, my hair routine, and how you can get a vegan haircut or veganize your hair routine. A couple tips, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, let's talk vegan haircut. So what makes a haircut not vegan? Really, you just need to worry about the products being used for the most part. The main thing really being that a lot of beauty products are tested on animals and a lot of products that are kind of waxy or creamy might be made with either honey or beeswax, for example. So those are kind of the main things that you wanna look out for. You might be wondering why clean beauty hair products, why does it matter? Well, your hair is attached to your body. And when you wash your hair, you're actually washing your scalp. A lot of the products touching your scalp, a lot of it runs down onto your shoulders, your face, your back when you shower. So just think of it the same way you would clean beauty. Anything that you're putting on your hair is likely gonna be absorbed by your body as well. So keep that in mind. Um, if you wanna read more about clean beauty, I will link my original clean beauty blog post, which kind of explains what ingredients you wanna look out for, why you wanna avoid them, and all of that goodness. Um, so let me show you a couple of products that I really like to use and things I've been trying out. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using right now. It's called Seed Phytonutrients. I like it because it's very mild, uh, completely natural, and the packaging is actually very, very much eco-friendly. It's made from recycled plastics, uses very minimal plastic, and this is actually like a cardboard packaging. I don't know if you can see this. And each of these bottles, when you finish them, comes with a packet of seeds that you can plant to kind of give back to the earth. Um, and yeah, really great. It's very mild, and it does not bubble up as much as your standard shampoo, so if you're using a natural and vegan shampoo for the first time you might be a little bit confused because the experience will be different but I really like it the scent is mild they have a variety of shampoos and conditioners for your specific purpose like there's an anti-frizz one that I saw that came out they sell these at Whole Foods right now but you can also buy them online this is something new I've been trying out this is a brand called Briogeo completely whoop focus on the product please so this is a brand called Briogeo. I've been trying out their products recently because everything is vegan and um, it's non-toxic. Um, this is something that I've been trying because it's winter as I'm filming this right now and it is a scalp revival serum or little oil that has like charcoal and tea tree in it and this has been really great for dry scalp. This is a deep conditioning mask that I wanted to try out and use. Um, I kind of just use this on like my self-care days and throw it on as I do like a face mask as well. I honestly am pretty bad about doing things like this though. I'm not the best at like you know, hair stuff, I just kinda like, it's the one thing I'm really, really lazy about. Anyway, this stuff has been really great. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a mask, I would highly recommend this one. It's non-toxic, it's vegan, it's cruelty-free, it's gluten-free, and it's great, it smells good. This is another brand that I've recently tried out. It's called R & Co, at least I think that's how you say it, and everything they have is vegan and um, non-toxic as well. I have not tried any of their shampoos and conditioners, although I've heard great things, but I have tried this, which is the Moisture Shine Cream. I kinda just like to put it in my ends if like they get dry or you know, just kinda like smooth down flyaways, and honestly, it smells really, really good. Like that's kinda the main reason why I like it. It smells amazing. Yeah, so um, those are some of the products that I use. I will include a complete list in the link in the description box below with everything else that I use or have tried um, and offer a couple of suggestions for other things that you might want to try using. Um, and that's kind of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the hair. I like freaking love it. Now I just have to keep it clean for a couple days because then I don't have to style it. But yes, I really like it. Um, Oh, I want to show you my dry shampoo. One second. I promise I'm almost done. So this is the dry shampoo that I use, and it's an overnight dry shampoo, um, which means you just throw it in your hair the night before. You can use this on the spot, though, if you don't have time to like wait overnight. So what I like to do is actually put this in before like a soul cycle class or a workout class, and then when I come out, it's like activated and uh, my hair looks good. 
So now we're at the end of the video. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope this was somewhat informative for you. And I will see you in another video very soon. Don't forget to click the link in the description box for all the details. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, leave a comment, and let me know if you ever get hair anxiety because I thought I was the only one and this is the first time I've come out so happy. I will see you in another video soon. Bye!